managing IPC users. This video will focus on managing users in Ion Pool Care software. Log into Ion Pool Care, click on the Admin tab. Next, click on the User Manager link. Existing users are displayed as edit links. To edit an existing user, click on that user name. To add users, click on the Add User link in the upper right hand corner. You will want to add users for all of your technicians so that you can assign them to routes and so that they can receive assignments. You will not get charged a user license if the user cannot or does not log in during a billing period, which is that month. So let's see how we can control the user profile. Let's edit an existing user. All fields are optional with the exception of the first and last name fields on this form. The login and password are optional. You can create a user that can receive assignments. They can be assigned routes, but without a login and password, they will not incur any user license fees. And they will also not be able to log in and complete their task. This is a way to have a user whose assignments show up on the calendar from which you can reassign to other users. An example might be creating assignments pending or unassigned. There are two user roles in Ion Pool Care software, the admin and the technician. The admin user sees the admin tab and performs administrative functions. The technician user receives assignments and is assigned to routes. The mobile user selection allows this user to access the mobile.ionpoolcare.com website. Obviously, if the user does not have a user login, the mobile user selection is meaningless. The disable user selection prevents this user from logging in. This is useful in the Northeast when services are not performed during December through March. You can temporarily disable the user, preventing this user from logging in and incurring any user license fees. Now let's talk about permissions. Permissions are grouped by module and you can see that there are several kinds of permissions. There are add, delete, edit, and so on. Each of these permissions will need to be reviewed. You will want to make sure that you assign the appropriate permissions per user. Each of these permissions control access both to the desktop and mobile client. These permissions that are encased in greater than and less than symbols will either allow or prevent access to the main menus on the desktop client. The desktop client is www ionpoolcare.com. The mobile client is mobile.ionpoolcare.com and there are both websites. So that was looking at the user profile from editing a user. If you are adding a user, there are a few other options. Once you have clicked on admin from the ribbon menu on the left side of the page under general setup, click on user manager. This will bring up the user manager form. On the upper right hand side of the page below log off, there is a link to add user next to which is a permission templates link. The add user link brings up a blank form for you to create a user. From here, you can see what was on the edit user form, but a bit more. Now there's a permission templates area. From here, you can choose the most common permissions for the type of user you are adding. You can also go in and edit the permissions later. Oh, this will help your setup go faster. There is also a create routes for this user option. You say yes to this when you are creating a pool maintenance technician user with routes and recurring tasks. This will name routes for this user and associate those routes to this user. The permission templates link is from where you can edit or add the permission templates per user type. Once you've made all of your appropriate changes, click the submit button to apply those changes. If a user is currently logged in, the user will have to log out and log in again to receive their new changes. That ends this video on managing users in Ion Pool Care software.